Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing great. Today, we are hiking to the primitive camping spot that is like 15 miles from my house. Well, we're gonna hike to the park and then we have to hike to the camping spot, which is like, like two miles from the entrance of the park. So all in all today, we'll be hiking like 17 miles. Um, it's pretty cool. We're gonna hike down there. We're gonna stay the night. Then we're gonna wake up and hike out. The idea is to get an idea <laughs> of what I may um, be missing or what I might have that I don't need. Uh, it's a beautiful 55 degrees out here in Florida and it's heating up rather quickly. I think there's a high of like 68 today. And then tonight there's a low of 48 degrees. So we're hoping that we'll get all of the aspects, the heat, the coldness, it rained last night. I went hiking yesterday in the rain. So a lot of my stuff is kind of damp. So I'm just trying to get the best feel that I can to be prepared as I absolutely can be. So we're going to we're going to stop by Subway a little later on get a sandwich um, I may stop by a convenience store and get some snacks so yeah see you later can I get a rotisserie chicken wrap I'm gonna add bacon to that no cheese thank you you guys are crushing it we got our sub sandwich. Bam. Bam. It's gonna be delicious. We've got some of this at this store. This is my treat for later and for right now. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so sugary. We got some pistachios, toast and peanut butter sandwiches, the white macadamia nut clip bars. That's where it's at. So, I have this really bad habit of leaving my hiking or my trekking poles in random places. Such an idiot. We just got super lucky. They were still there. Thank freaking gosh. Sheesh. Terrible habit. But don't forget your freaking trekking poles if you're carrying them. You set them down, don't forget them. You don't realize like how much of a difference it makes until you don't have them and then you're like, frick, why is this so much harder than it was before? We've had lunch. We read up on our snacks. Uh, we got some more water. And um, yeah. Once I rode my bike out here one time and I remember thinking like how far it was when I rode my bike and something made me go wouldn't be that bad if I walked it 
<laughs> Probably about 10 miles from my house now. Something like that. Something like that. five more miles I think it's like 330 so we'll see hopefully we make it before dark I think we'll be all right keep going we made it to the front entrance <laughs> Well, we made it to the river. The water's moving. Look at the water. I don't know if you can see it. Just around the river bend. Da da da. We are almost there. I'm ready. I'm ready to get to the campsite. We're so close though. We made it. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yeah. Welcome to the real Florida. Welcome. All right. We got to pay our little, we got to pay our little thing here. Oh, it doesn't work on video. Well, we made it, yay. We're gonna head in, but we got to pay for our night first. So let me do that and uh, we'll see you in a bit. Heck yeah. We finally made it out here, people. Woo, 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 woo. Oh, you can't even see me anymore. That's funny. So, I'm about to stop. Go ahead and get my headlamp out. Grab a... Uh, I might need to go ahead and grab my fleece, too, because it's starting to get a little cool. And um, it's probably going to be another 20-minute walk, and I'm guessing it's going to be dark by the time I get there, so... We'll be setting up in the dark. But that's all right. It is what it is. T is what a T is. So, yeah. That was a hell of a walk, man. We've got in like a little over 16 miles at this point. Which is freaking nuts. And by the time we get to the campsite, We'll probably be like, uh, oh, we'll probably be right around 17. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty muddy over there. Lots of roots out here. bit of a view this way there's always a fun view I think we'll see how the phone does it smells so wonderful out here I think it's because it's like all that rain that front that just came through is bringing all that northern air and then you're I'm out here in the bushes like in the woods bro oh, I just can't get enough of that fresh air bro just gotta get out and get some fresh air get out and get some 
<laughs> it's good. <sighs> yeah. Uh, impressions from the hello I'm out here I'm 1.4 1. miles from the primitive campsite I thought it was closer than that uh, so it turns out I'll be doing almost 18 miles a day Ooh. but we're almost there and we got the headlamp on because we're going to need it soon so Yay. All right. We made it. For a split second, I thought that gleam up there, I don't know if you can see it, but it was gleaming. And I saw it through the woods. And just for a second, I was like, oh my God, what is that? <laughs> but it's just the sign telling us the primitive campsite is this way. Nah, bruh, so I just had to cross over some swampiness. Oh man, I'll show you in the morning. That shit was intense trying to like figure out how to get through there without just stomping through it and getting your feet all wet. So I made it through though. I had to jump over some roots and crawl through some bushes and stuff, but we made it crazy when you can't see anything besides like what the light in front of you gives you to see you know what I mean like everything else is just pitch black we're here we made it this will be our spot for the night What's for dinner? Noodles and beef and a high mushroom sauce. Uh, a mountain high mushroom sauce. All the way to the brim. Smells pretty disgusting. Literally. This is why you test stuff out. Alright. Well, it tastes better than it smells. So, there's that. Might start a little fire. But there's not a lot of dead stuff out here. be a lot of fires. People must have a lot of fires there. All this wood, all the wood's gone. Good morning. And we are moving slow. See the sun coming up over there? Yeah. My tent's a little messy right now. <laughs> Don't mind that. I'm not gonna hike home, but I'm gonna hike out and have mom pick me up. Whoop whoop.
Um, so, my first night in Florida, staying out in Florida with the food canister. And uh, I put it right here, and it's no longer here. Like, it's nowhere to be found. <laughs> and now it's just gone. So, so, <laughs> so something picked it up and like took it somewhere or something? Or like, I don't know, bro. Like, like, that thing was heavy. What animal in Florida would do that? I'm so confused, bro, because I definitely didn't take it this far. Not gonna lie, I'm glad this happened now. I'm just gonna get an earth sack if that's the case. 100%, man, and I'll just fucking tie it to the tree. This won't ever happen again. Had to be a raccoon, right? That's crazy, bro. I mean, you can kind of see, maybe, oh, it looks like it was drugged this way. Maybe. Looks like something drugged something this way. Ha. <laughs> Holy cow. I wonder what it was. Something sure tried though. The fact that it drug it. Bro. This thing is like. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. This thing is heavy, yo. Like this is, this has to be more than 10 pounds. Like, this has to be like, I don't know man, 15 pounds maybe? I wonder, <laughs> I wonder what it was, bro. I wanna know so bad. I didn't hear it at all. <laughs> so funny. Oh man, look, it's so dirty, bro. Like, <laughs> it went through the ringer. <laughs> Something really tried to get inside of that thing last night, bro. No lie. <laughs> Bear canister for the win. Oh man. All right. <laughs> it's time to break down camp, fam. While I'm letting the tent dry off from condensation, I decided to do a little bit of investigating and I found, I don't know if you can see those in the camera, but there are some scratches in the lid. And uh, that compared with, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the camera or not, but There were some, there were some tracks. I'm not a tracker by any means, <laughs> but there's only a handful of the very, there's only probably three critters that that could have been in the state of Florida. One of them being uh, black bears, one being wild boar, and the other would be <laughs> the most likely cul uh, culprit. That would be the raccoon. See that little paw print? It looks like a little human hand. It's crazy. It does. Yeah, definitely. That's gotta that's gotta be a raccoon. Good morning. Again. <laughs> We're heading out. We left somebody else. A little fire pre-made there. You can see it. And uh and we're off this morning. All right. <laughs> We've made it to the swamp. We're gonna go across to there. And you see the water? It's pretty wet. And that's, this was a small one. It's much drier this morning than it was last night. So this part was completely underwater right here. And then I had to step from root to root like that, but more so because all this, I couldn't walk right here, man. Like this was crazy. It's 
still pretty bad though. Oh yeah. It gets muddy down there. All right, or it gets wet down there. All right. It gets really bad up here, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with the camera, but we're gonna try. It's tough to do this with the camera. Woo. We almost lost it. All right. <laughs> That's not even the hard part. Yep, my foot just got wet. I think maybe at this point last night, I had already, I was over there. Yeah, I was stepping across those roots. That's the, way, that's the way I got across there last night. I didn't go this way. Because I lost the trail. As soon as I got off the trail last night, I lost it. Oh, wait a minute. I might have to go that way. Can I get across somewhere right there? So we're almost there. We're about halfway through it. I mean, you could just walk right through, I suppose, if you didn't care about getting your feet wet. But I care about getting my feet wet. I'm gonna try to avoid it at all costs, getting my feet wet. It's still deep enough that I don't wanna step in it. My whole foot would be wet. Oh. We made it! Try doing that in the pitch black with just your headlamp on and that water looks like, it looks black. Like, it looks so much deeper. It's, it was definitely deeper, but like, man, it just looked so much more ominous in the pitch black. Thirty more minutes and and our adventure is over. See you at the front. All right, that's it. Our trek is mostly over. We've made it to the front. Overall, it was a pretty good night. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hey. We're here at the parking lot. What's up everybody? Drop it in here at the end of the video just to let you guys know a couple of things. One, if you didn't see it in my short, uh, I'll be starting on March 19th. Um, that's my birthday. It's also my 40th birthday, woo woo. So come hang out with us on the trail. I'll be vlogging the whole thing. Um, one of the other things is, during my shakedown video, I hiked 20 miles. And so when I got up in the morning, I was extremely tired. So I just hiked out and I didn't take the time to actually uh, get you guys some really good footage. However, I have hiked out there many, many times and I've taken many videos and many pictures and I would like to take a few minutes to take you guys on a small little tour around the six mile loop at my favorite place. Before I do that, I will say this one time because I don't want to force it down everybody's throat and that's it and then 
Yeah. So there have I have already had a few people ask me uh, if they can do care packages on the trail. And it would be tough for you to pack something up and send it to me on the trail. So the best way for you to be able to, to help me out on the trail, if that is your desire, if you feel called, please do not feel obligated. This is to the people that have already asked, right? Um, if you feel that way, if you would like to help, you can, uh, the best way would be through a, a donation through Venmo right um, because then I can take that and use it however on the trail versus you trying to send me some specific types of food or whatever that it is that I may need may need and, and you're not fully aware of or understand what I might want to eat right uh, so the best way is through donations on Venmo and I will leave that in the uh, a, de a description underneath the video so if you want to do that and it will be underneath every video and I will not mention it in another video unless it's to thank people for donating uh, I will shout out anybody who does decide to do so um, not that that's any kind of incentive or anything but uh, I will I am getting bit up by mosquitoes out here <laughs> welcome to Florida can't wait to get on the freaking trail uh, so without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy, sit back, take a few minutes, get some popcorn, get a drink, and enjoy the beautiful nature that is Little Manatee River State Park. Mm -hmm. 